I'm sorry. I was Get out of here, you earth-hating, carbon-farting, unrecyclable garbage person. It's ruined. Hi. My name's Roger, and nothing matters more to me or my burning air poison company, Horton Oil, than demanding everybody huck their dirty plastic shapes into a differently colored bucket than where they throw their other equally useless trash. Why would an oil company care what you do with your portable sacks when you finish sucking the life-shortening sugar water from them? Because plastic is made from oil. And since each year your horseless carriages guzzle less and less car juice, we're shifting our focus to tripling plastic production by 2050. Whether we still have a planet or not, nothing is more important to us than you love the plastic. You need the plastic. Especially because a few decades ago, you ungrateful turds didn't cherish our beautiful gas paper and how it allegedly slowly murders the only planet capable of sustaining life. That's why we spend and continue to spend millions of dollars convincing you plastic can totally be recycled, even though it basically can't. And even if it could, do you know how expensive that shit is? Look, if you want to get technical, recycling plastic is technically possible. But unlike metals that can be melted down into atomic goop and molded back into chemically pure curvy steel dildos, plastic is composed of long chains of complex man-made molecules that significantly degrade when, you know, set on fire. Even if we do manage to coagulate some blackened slop into the shape of a skim milk jug, it's too fragile to do more than once. The important thing isn't so much recycling plastic as making plastic appear recyclable. So we lobbied Congress to throw a little numbered arrow Ouroboros on every plastic thing ever made, whether it can truly be recycled or not. It's just confusing enough to practically guarantee it all gets mixed together, ensuring the majority of actually recyclable material is too contaminated to work with. I mean, we're not gonna spend millions of dollars sorting through it all when we're already paying so much to convince you that we're sorting through it all. Ultimately, only 10% of recyclable plastic has ever been reused, and this way, we can act like it's all your fault for not being a scientist. So go ahead and drop that half-drunk bottle of fresh-squeezed fruit blood into a blue bucket and tell yourself you're saving the planet. It'll definitely be recycled into your lungs after we quietly incinerate that shit. Or maybe we'll just throw it in the ocean for the dolphins to deal with. I hear they're very, very smart. I'm Roger, by the way, and I'm back.